everyone. This is cowboy. <laughs> Tell him how much you love me. Look at this body. Okay, so I wanted to go over my skincare regimen with you guys because I think skincare is so important. Your makeup will not look good if your skin is not good. So it's something that I am totally willing to invest in and I see a facialist once a month. I love her. Um, so I want to share my day and night regimen with you guys, but also my kind of day off makeup too. Um, I am dry. I'm on the drier side, I'm not severely dry, but I would say that I have a more drier skin type, which is a blessing and a curse because I feel like my makeup stays all day, uh, but it's also bad because we're gonna age. So um, I wanted to share my daytime um, regimen with you guys first. So I use uh, Dr. Paracone's uh, cleanser. I love it, it was suggested to me by one of their reps. Uh, I was a huge philosophy purity fan for probably four years. I just switched to this and I really like it. It does not take off makeup, so I do feel like you have to take your makeup off first and then use this. And I use this with my Clarisonic. So I use this every single night. Um, I have the deep pore cleanser head on mine um, just because I do wear quite a bit of makeup, probably five, six days a week. I swear by my Clarisonic. I swear this is what changed my skin. Um, as the first thing I ever bought when I became a Nordstrom's employee. I've had it for six and a half years. Um, I used to have really like cystic um, acne. It was that very underground, never came to surface skin. And it's crazy because when I stop using my Clarisonic, I can see that that skin comes back. So this is something I swear by. I can't live without. Um, it's to totally worth it. Don't try and buy a knockoff. Get the real Clarisonic. Um, and so after I cleanse my face, this is my morning, um, I tone it. And because I am more dry, I use um, Clinique's toner. And then I use a like pad that kind of has like bumps on it. So I use that all over. And then I go in with this. This is an Elemis serum. And I've never used an under eye serum, but I kind of started to feel like my under eyes were like more dehydrated and I started to see like more lines. So I use this first and this is a tightening feel. So you put it on, it's wet and then it dries. So it makes your under eyes super firm, really good if you, you know, have bags or puffiness in the morning. So I only use in the morning. Um, I was told not to use something that's caffeinated at night because you don't want your under eyes to be, you know, working out while you're sleeping. So I use this first and then I go in with the Paracone under eye. Um, this one is the firming eye cream. A little bit goes a long way. It is pricier, you know, similar to the Elemis, but this again was um, suggested for me because I am more dry. You use a tiny bit and it's gonna hydrate like crazy. So I do this morning and night. Um, and then as far as the rest of my face, um, my facialist suggested, I kind of freaked out my last facial. She goes, oh, I can kind of see we are starting to get dark spots. And I was like, um, no, <laughs> like, what do I need? So she suggested the skin lightener serum. Um, so this is, um, Epicurin. Um, I feel like I've seen a difference with it. I feel like my skin looks even better when I don't wear makeup. And she said this also helps with um, like acne spots and scars as well. And then I go in with the Epicurin. This is the Rose Treat Moisturizer. This is for dry to normal skin. So if you are oily, this probably isn't for you. Um, the only negative is there's no SPF. So every day I do mix this with another moisturizer that I'll show you guys. Um, but I do feel like this you know, hydrates my skin. I do wear this at night right now. I'm not using a night cream. I'm just sleeping in this and I like it. Um, and then I, the days that I'm not wearing any makeup or running out of the house, I'll mix it with Olay age defying. Um, this is their SPF 15. They do make this in sensitive is which I normally wear, but I feel like even this combo I can wear under my makeup and it doesn't make my makeup greasy or shiny, which that's kind of like what I look for in a moisturizer. I used to wear this, before I bought this, I was wearing just this in the daytime and I loved it. So 
great buy. I get mine at Ulta normally and you can get like a discount on it. So um, Olay, love it, SPF 15, just great. So as far as nighttime goes, um, again, I sleep right now in the Epicurean, but Glam Glow has a mask. This one here, this is um, the Thirsty Mask. And I will actually sleep in this probably two, three nights a week. You're supposed to rinse it off, but I sleep in it and I wake up in the morning and I feel like my skin just looks like plump and hydrated. Um, Glam Glow is one of my favorite masks anyway. They have the, um, the mud mask, which I love. I'm out of it right now. But as far as other masks go, um, again, dry. So I went to, I still work for Nordstrom. So I went to uh, one of the guys that worked there and I said, I'm dry. I need something that's going to help. And he sold me this fresh mask. This is the honey mask and it's straight up honey basically. And you put it on your face and then you rinse your face off and you have almost as this like, like a film that's on your skin and it just makes your skin look glowy and hydrated. I normally do this at night. Like I wouldn't put this on and then do my makeup. Um, but I love this. It's kind of expensive, but there's a lot in here. I think this runs at like 140. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but I really, really like this. There's a ton of product that says that you could use it up to three to four times a week. And then, um, also I'm using Peter Thomas Roth. Um, this is a peeling gel. It has a bunch of like citrus in it. So what you do is you wash your face. You put this on your um, your hand and you rub it on. It literally balls the skin off your face. You go like this and it peels away like the top layer of your skin. Not that crazy aggressive, but just all the dead skin. It's kind of crazy. It's awesome. I feel like my I have that like baby soft skin, really fresh um, after I use this. Um, I buy this at Ulta. I worked there for like a hot month too, and I got this um, from them, and I really like it. Uh, I was reading a women's health magazine. They said how important it is to be using a mask every single week. So I started to reincorporate this into my weekly regimen. It's kind of awesome. It really does give you that squeaky clean baby skin. Um, if you're super sensitive and acne, uh, acne prone, I don't know if I'd try it cause you don't want it to make your skin worse. Um, but I, I love it. I think it works really well. So I want to share with you guys my exfoliator, which again is something you're supposed to be doing weekly. I'm not going to lie. I'm not very good at remembering because I, I use my Clarisonic every day, which I feel like is also exfoliating, but to use something that has grains or sand or some texture to it is really important. So I love Arcona. I used to use their full skincare line, but I kind of felt like I needed a little bit more. So this is one thing I'm not going to take out of my regimen. This is the cranberry exfoliator. Um, it's very sandy and grainy. You, you know, you can go in and really scrub your skin with it. Um, I love it. Works really well. Organic. I love their brand. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. I try and use it two, three times a week. If I remember, it'd be good to keep in your shower, you know, love this. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite kind of day off gym makeup. Um, la, 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 la. So these are my three go-tos for day off slash no makeup makeup. Um, this was my number one love. This is Stila's Tinted Moisturizer. Um, the things I love about it are, has SPF 20, which is bomb it is water resistant like literally you'll be in spin class and you sweat through it like it doesn't get the streaks it doesn't come off it is it comes off a little bit on the towel I'm not gonna lie but it is the best it just evens your skin tone out it doesn't look like you have makeup on it just gives you that nice kind of even hi I have perfect glowy skin all the time so love this I will never stop using this now, if you say, for instance, I had a client, a di one client, and I wanted to go to her house, but not look super like ratch. So I probably shouldn't use the word ratch. If I didn't want to like really scrub, I would do It Cosmetics. Keep in mind, It Cosmetics is killing the game. I love their cosmetics. Um, this is the CC cream, but it is full coverage, which is the bomb. SPF 50, which is, you know, everything. So it comes with the pump. I literally do one pump, rub it all over. It is glowy, 
dewy amazingness. I love it. And they also have the concealer. Really good. Again, kind of just rub it underneath or on spots where you need it. I feel like it does kind of crease a little bit, but don't wear too much of it. Just a little bit, you're good to go. So this, these are my go-to no makeup makeup, gin makeup, you know, looks. And I was lying. That wasn't my last thing. I have one more thing to share with you guys. Zit creams. If you're broken out, these are my go-to right now. Thank you, Gigi. She told me about this. This is from like Whole Foods, Sprouts. This is Desert Essence Blemish Touch-Up Stick. It is strong. It's like straight up alcohol. Has a roller ball on it. Put it on a blemish, if, you know, if you have one. And then good old Mac came out with Blemish Control. It's literally Clinique's to a T, but we just copied their, you know, formula. Um, super strong, again, put it on something, go to sleep, wake up, and it's gonna be dried out and you're good to go. So these are my two favorites for blemishes. Mario Badesco has the drying cream or lotion, whatever it's called, which is really good too. I just, I'm out of that as well. Um, but yeah, these are your go-to, you got a zit, got to fix it. So yeah, so that is my skincare right now and we will see uh, what I find next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My username is Shelby underscore McElroy. Thank you for all the support so far. I really appreciate it. Please let me know what looks you want to learn in the future. I've already got a few lined up for you guys.